Alright. <laughs> Death by earplug removal. Yep. <laughs> I accidentally put them in. Uh, I was actually going for the light amp goggles. I'm not sure I would have had time to get the light amp goggles on and activated and see it and then move before uh, the shot would have gone off, but I accidentally hit the wrong one and put the gut put the plugs in, then went to take them out, and as soon as I, I gave the order to take them out, bammo. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Stop it. All right, world. Shrugville, delete world. That was a big file. There's my save folder when I was backing it up earlier. It had 62,000 options. 62,000 objects. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. It was taking a long time to copy that save folder. All right. So, yeah, the world settings, uh, your, your start date, it used to be day one, then they made it day 30, now they've made it day 60, but they also, you have the option to change your start day and the evolution start and so on, so it gets, it gets really weird now <laughs> on what days it says you've been alive and all that kind of stuff. Huh. Well... Yeah. Um, alright. I'm still confused about the whole evolution stuff. It's still not doing what I say it does. It's supposed to do. But, um, well, we gotta create a world. Let's see. Let's... Do I want to keep Magiclism in this time? Man, we'll keep it in. Whether I use it or not, I'm not sure. I don't have one prepared again, so... What are we gonna do here? I'm not gonna change any of my blacklist stuff. Uh, nah, everything's fine, everything's fine. Yeah, really don't care about most of this stuff anymore. <laughs> Speedy decks. Oh, whatever. Hmm, <sighs> zombie night vision. Nah. Alright, so my defaults currently are 8.4. That's what I've been using, just the standard stuff. Um, I don't, I don't want to do another Mega City yet. I need a little more time between my Mega City runs. Double Zombies is still feeling about right. Half Items still feels about right. Gives me some scarcity and some occasional grumbling about how I can't find something. Um, I'm not playing with NPCs, so I don't really care. And here's where the big mystery is: this evolution scaling factor that I just cannot find a happy value for between evolution scaling factor and these. So I had 1020 last time, and we had we had upgraded zombies immediately. Stepped out, upgraded zombies, which was fine. We survived it. Um, I mean, I, I can play with those. Uh, I'd like to get it. I'm trying to find a sweet spot where I've got a week or two of not not evolved zombies, and then evolution kicks in. But I can't seem to find it. It's either I finish my challenge before ever seeing one. Or, <laughs> I got an Evolved Zombies right out of the gate. And I'm having a really hard time finding what I need to set it at. So, somebody said to flip these two. Instead of 1020, go 2010. Um, I could care less about, uh, about uh, temperature or food rotting or any of that kind of stuff. That means nothing to me. So... Um, so we'll go with 2010. Initial day, 20. Days after the Cataclysm, the player spawns, 10. So that'll put us on day 30, start date. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I think I am going to put this back on 2.0. Much as I don't know what it's actually doing nowadays, I'm not really certain it's actually making a change based off of these other options. Alright, so use Link 91's fine. Wander spawns, of course. Static, yes. Random, no. Experimental Z levels. Uh, is it time to turn them back on and give it another try again? I just know I'm going to get irritated as hell as soon as I go to sleep and I have to sit here for literal <laughs> minutes chatting with you fine folks while I wait for my sleep cycle to finish <laughs> or my crafting or my reading or anything else. Yep. New start date, default is 60. That's because of the changes to the weather system and the temperatures. 
they uh, they pushed the date further forward because of those changes to try to keep things on a fairly easy keel for brand new players. <laughs> so that's uh, that's the reason why they keep moving the start date around is to keep a date that new players can start at where uh, they're not dealing with every single thing being frozen in the game world and asking a million times on the uh, Reddit and the Discords, how do I defrost water? <laughs> um, I'm going to say no. Did I get a new mic? No. Same mic I've had for quite a while now. Ah, let's turn it back on. What the heck? As soon as it annoys me, I'll turn it off. I'm sure it'll probably be here in this first few hours. Uh, I have no idea what kind of theme I'm going to have for my world or what kind of character we're going to build, so... Let's do... Um, doesn't really matter. Random name. Rockerville. Alright, Rockerville sounds good. Alright, let's not spend too much time doing this. Um, custom character, yes. Rockerville... Check my notes. And I have uh <laughs> I haven't done a mutation heavy run in a little while. Maybe I'll pick another mutation tree or something. Multiple pool, of course. Um still I don't know. They've added uh, they've added another antibiotic type, a strong antibiotic, but I have no idea what the distribution ratio is. I'm still a little bent about uh, antibiotics drop rates, <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I'm ready to jump into RBD again. Mm, uh, so many labs, so many labs. I've done Island Prison. The little I've seen of it, the little investigating I've done of it, looks really boring to me. Um, Get naked, swim off islands. I I just not sure why. <laughs> what what the problem there is. Bottom of the mine, it's uh, only really, really mildly interesting, because once you've done a few mines, it's super, super easy to get out of, and there's very little danger involved, and you don't really get much out of it. <laughs> and then you're just basically starting above ground at the mine entrance. Um so it's not terribly interesting from a start point standpoint. Uh, a wizard's vacation. <laughs> hmm. Secluded wizard's tower. Hmm. Wizard's retreat. Is that going to put me in like one of those? Well, no, it says a tower. Oh, huh. must be a uh, new building for it. So this is new. Storm shaper. Is that really the only choice? So, oh, nope. <laughs> I don't know. I do love me my synaptic stimulation. <laughs> I do love me the synaptic stimulation. Lightning bolt and wind running. <laughs> Summon zombie. Hmm. Hmm. Got to spend six points to take it. Most by far. Eh, maybe I'll do a short, short one just to check things out. I see if I can figure out how to actually make summon zombies be useful. Let's do it. We'll do a uh, Necro, but we're going Wizard's Vacation, Necro. I'm not going to have hardly any points to spend. So let's just bump Intelligence. <coughs> Negative Traits. Do we do a Genetic Downward Spiral Necro? Hmm.
ideally I'd want to get... Well, no, it wouldn't make a difference if I did that. That would definitely put a time limit on the run. Yeah, let's do a GDS Necro. We're going to do a Genetic Downward Spiral Necro. I couldn't tell you. I, I, I have a hard time figuring out a use or a way to use the Animus to Summon abilities to effectively. So we're going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. We'll probably die early. But um, Genetic Downward Spiral will basically put a time limit on us and make for some crazy things that will happen, I'm sure. So we'll do Genetic Downward Spiral. That's all 12 points. It gets me back a few. Uh, ideally, I would like to take greater mana efficiency, but I'm not sure I can afford it. How am I going to keep myself alive with this guy? Hmm. Nah, we we got to take that. <laughs> it's just magic user. We got to have we got to have mana. Oof! So much, so much points. Start with one point of spellcraft. Ouch. So, yeah. Robust genetics is not allowed and is useless anyway with the genetic downward spiral. Um, what else would help? We're going to take night vision, but no movement bonuses, no melee or martial arts skills. Fast reader? Cannibal? <laughs> Well, I got three points left. <clears throat> Let's assume I take no skills whatsoever. If I hold at my 11 intelligence, what can I get that's just going to be really helpful for three points? Bookworm for one, fast reader for one. <laughs> More intelligence. Well, I can only take it so far. Oops. We can bump it to 13, and then if we take a uh, fast reader, that zeroes out our points. It'll be a race for um, getting Purifier crafted. Usually my Genetic Downward Spiral runs, uh, it's a race to get enough Purifier to actually be able to keep yourself from mutating into uh, disintegration and killing yourself. We'll see. I don't know if the uh, Necromancy line for spells has something that'll offset it. It's not quite true that you can't get good ones. It's really weird. Genetic Downward Spiral. I've done two or three or four. I forget how many uh, challenge runs with Genetic Downward Spiral. And um, there's quite a few that uh, I'm going to get that are quote unquote good ones because they're intermediate steps to later bad ones. <laughs> so when it fires off and it tries to move me down a chain towards a bad result, sometimes the intermediate ones that it lands on are actually good ones. So... <clears throat> but I don't know the, enough about the necromancy and if it's got uh, things that are going to help me. But we'll, we'll roll with it. It'll be interesting. So GDS, and basically we're just um, we're just smart. <laughs> we've, we've got mana efficiency, so we've got a mana pool. Night vision is the only benefit I'm really giving myself beyond that. Otherwise, uh, fast reader. Not taking any skills. And we're, we're smart. Sounds good. Ah, uh, it's... Quincy Pace, that doesn't sound necromantic enough. 
Softy Chow, nah. I don't know if I'm going to get a good necromancy name this way. Argus Lowell. Hmm, eh, that sounds okay. We'll go with Argus Lowell. Alright, uh. Bro one. Alright, let's jump in. Hmm, so what do we got going on here? You learned Summon Zombie, you learned Necrotic Gaze. What is what does that do? Power of your own blood to imbue necrotic energy into your gaze, damaging the target you look at. Concentration can be cast through walls. 15 biological, meaning it goes right through armor and other protections. Casting time, one round essentially. And it costs uh, some health. Alright. Cool. Do I get to pick where? Or is that one health to all body parts? I get to pick. Cool. We'll see what happens when I start mutating heavily and <laughs> this is going to get ugly real quick. <clears throat> Alright, what do we see? Zombie survival guide under the hood and crap I don't care about and a scroll of root strike. <laughs> So, standard clothing with a hoodie. Hoodie's cool. Check our map. That's probably the most important thing. Oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um. I guess we got we got a little bit of looking around to do. So we got stairs up. Whoops. Flask of ogre strength potion and a bullet pearl. My island gonna be infested with uh, crabs. Foods, cookbook, colander. <laughs> Magic Missile Wand. <coughs> and a crystal. Or my Magic Missile Wand. Alright. Roof, I'm assuming. So can't step on that glass. I can just see uh, another little island. Island prison. No idea where to go. <laughs> that's funny. Tell me that's a magic cabin. Just says island. All right. Well, I think that is everything I can look at. Hey, want a magic missile? Let's reload you. So now we've got uh, 49 magic missiles. A mana potion under the hood. Root strike. Let's um, grab that. And that's where the sunglasses. Let's take a look around our island. There, oh, we got zombies on the island. Alright, so this is not going to work against zombies, I'm assuming. He's 
gonna knock my door down. Hmm. Hmm. Let the zombie follow me around while I see if there's anything else. So, trees, foresty stuff, not seeing any docks or boats. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we got a dock. Just picked the wrong direction. Go look. <laughs> Glow stick. Duct tape. Long rope. New hand paddles. I figured there would be a boat. <laughs> this would be a pretty, pretty rough start if there wasn't a boat on an island out in the middle of nowhere like this. All right, so it looks like it's just this one zombie currently. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use the uh, go grab the stick and beat it to death. With my eight strength and no skills, or zap it with uh, magic vessel. <clears throat> so, my my common problem with uh, summoning. Animist type guys is the summon zombie takes 60 rounds. It takes a minute <laughs> So it's not something you can cast while somebody's coming after you So you have to um, be out of contact with the enemy cast it then try to get the zombies actually into action Um Also start practicing my throwing skill. Let's see. Nah, let's let's just get rid of this thing. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of charges. Ah, another zombie shows up. <laughs> I just, I just walked around the whole island, damn it. <laughs> it's funny. Hmm. me a camera and a sling pack but I got no soap to clean anything <laughs> a lot of random zombies are gonna be showing up on this island to annoy me that is that is a long way to row in a canoe <laughs> oh Yeah, we'll grab the watch and the sling pack <coughs> temporarily. So we wait for the next zombie to show up. All right, so we got a boathouse. That's um. Gotta think about this. So what raw materials do I have access to? We've got wood, 
I don't expect there's any kind of secret doors or anything in here. There's almost no metal of any kind. A couple of shelves. Assuming that's what's here. Nope, that's wood as well. I don't think we have any metal. Barring my uh, my wood stove. Yeah, we got no metal. So I can't make a crowbar, can't make lock picks. Yeah, we are exceedingly deficient. Oh, wardrobes have pipes? Wardrobes have pipes? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Of course, I gotta be able to disassemble it. I need the tools to do that. Or I smash one and hope I get the parts I need. Not gonna worry about a towel. Hmm. Back downstairs for a second. Let's let some light in. <laughs> yeah, we'll head back to the boathouse in a second. Um... moment we'll just leave the stuff here so got a little bit of metal here I thought there was a stick in the fire down here Wood saw? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Wood saw? Huh. Come here, heavy stick. All right, so the display rack will give me the pipe I need for the crowbar and a little bit of uh, the... Uh, metal I need for a few lockpicks. Not that I need lockpicks out here in the ocean, but um, I don't need a brazier, so I don't need to worry about retaining sheet metal. Damn. Oops. Alright, makeshift crowbar. Alright, Fab One! <clears throat> I'll leave the other one for the moment. Uh, got curtains? Yes, you do. Cool. Butcher! Long string. Butcher. Sure. All right, so we got the uh, hammer, screwdriver, crowbar, and uh, lockpicks. Take the rest of that with me. Hmm. 